when the prodigal son left his father and went around he was roaming around with pigs eating from pigs here's what he said i will arise what did he want he wanted to enjoy that grace again that opportunity it was a house with limitless abundance but he left it and he began to deplete he said i will arise i don't have the power to restore myself but i have the power to meet my father i can make efforts to meet my father and as he was making that decision concurrently his father said let me meet my son let me keep going Peradventure, i will meet my son somewhere there was a meeting point he did not meet him at his place of rest and he did not meet him in the house he met him at the place of obedience it's a risk i'm taking what if my father throws me away it's a risk i'm taking and while i'm going i'm rehearsing what i will tell him father i have sinned against you and against heaven i am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of the slaves but at least let me make the efforts i am going if he drives me away i will return back with honor i'll say god at least you've seen that i've made efforts when the father saw him the first thing the father did was to embrace him and said your obedience has spoken volumes you don't need to tell me more I already know the story the fact that you understood and discerned enough to leave that point not minding the shame people look at him and say this guy whose father was wealthy what a useless boy enduring the ridicule to keep moving was already enough and um, the moment the father met him the bible says he put back that ring that symbol of honor sent him to the house held a party for him and while that was happening the elder brother was now angry and the elder brother said so what about me i have been in this house and he said you want to make the mistake of this person now everything i have is yours it's just that you don't know what to do all you needed to do was to ask me as your father you do not have the consciousness of my fatherhood to request that i will give you a lamb will i not honor you for your obedience and your staying 